welcome to Your Brand Expert Tips. Now, Miles and I were at an event last night. We held a workshop at the 4BN event in central London. And one of the questions that we had from a member of the audience afterwards was, I'm a key networker. I go to regular networking events, but what I struggle with is getting referrals from those same people throughout the month. So while he gets back into his business and they get back into their businesses, he's really struggling because they're not giving each other referrals throughout the month. They only seem to remember each other when it's like the day before the event or there's some sense of urgency. So the advice I gave to him was that when you go to a networking event and whether it's weekly, monthly, annually, you know, when you go to that event, those people are in your mind. They're sticky in your mind because you're there with them and you're seeing them. The challenge is throughout the month, you're back in your business and you've got distractions and you've got your own stuff going on, as have they. So keeping in contact with them throughout the month isn't necessarily an easy thing to do. Now, I remember when I used to be a member of BNI and a really good friend of mine, Paul Hewlett, we used to network together and we'd get referrals for each other like the crazies, you know. Every week we'd be taking referrals for one another and I knew his business so well because we were networking together. I knew what he was up to and what contracts he was working on. And because of that, I, it, he was in my mind all the time, so he was sticky. So you have to forgive me because I'm in the field with Bonnie and there are planes going over our heads as I speak and she's just asking me for the frisbee, so just a second. Come this way. So what happened was when Paul then left the networking group and he went off and um, he was doing other things, we then weren't sticky in each other's minds anymore and what happened was it'd be you know six or seven weeks two months before we'd see each other again and we'd completely forget about each other because we'd got back into business again it wasn't because I had fallen out with Paul and he'd already fallen out with me we were still really good friends and we still were helping each other with our businesses but because we weren't seeing each other on a weekly basis anymore it made a massive difference to the amount of referrals we were giving to each other because we just weren't in each other's minds anymore. So one of the ways that I recommended that Jim keeps in contact with his uh, referrals and the people that he wants to do business with and get business from is to do videos just like I'm doing now and keep that regular heartbeat, that regular touch point going with the people who are following you and that just have a couple of minutes really to catch up with you on a daily basis. Just, you know, that's a really great way of keeping in touch with people because when you're doing videos, it's obviously you're not personally there, but you could be having a conversation with a thousand people at the same time rather than one-on-one -on -one and taking your time to travel to see them and the expenses and all the things that come uh, as a cost to taking time out of your business to be delivering in your business. So I find that doing these little videos every day is a great way of keeping in contact with people and the amount of times I've received referrals or introductions from people who are watching my videos on a daily basis but I haven't seen them for six months and some of them I haven't seen for a year but because I'm sticky in their minds because they're used to seeing me and I'm in their mind all the time because they see me every day, they have contact with me every day even though I'm not contacting them and they're not contacting me, it just keeps us in each other's minds. And the people that I'm getting the most referrals for and that I'm thinking about are the people that are doing videos and that I'm watching them and I'm coming into contact with them or they're emailing me, they're, they are keeping in touch. So that's uh, just a, a key tip for you really, is to make sure you are doing videos and getting them posted out on your Facebook, your Google+, Plus. post them out on Pinterest. There are people that are... Um, that are familiar and happy with connecting on LinkedIn so put you know post your link to your YouTube channel on LinkedIn and make sure they're connecting with you that way some people like keeping in contact on Facebook so you'll work out from your audience where your clients are 
and just make sure that you're seen by them. So get your iPhone out, that's what I'm recording on today. So you know it's it's really good, just get it out your pocket or whatever your smart device is, take a little video and then get that out onto your networks because it will help to keep you sticky in the minds of the people that you want to do business with and it will also help you to get your content out there and start sharing it with the people who really really want to hear about it. So have a fantastic day and I will be back with more tips tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.